This is episode 2174 of the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley, and welcome back to our series. We're exploring an important theme this week. It is the theme we are craving these days, and that is inner peace. In each episode, you are exploring a different meditation technique to help you experience more inner peace. And in today's episode, you're going to be guided as you repeat an affirmation. An affirmation is a positive statement you repeat that helps you focus on an intention. This week, you've also been issued a challenge. There's always a challenge with every single week's theme. Your challenge this week is to share your peace with others. Peace is powerful. I want to share with you the words from Nelson Mandela, who is the former president of South Africa. He was a South African anti-apartheid revolutionary, political leader, and philanthropist. He spent a total of 27 years in jail. 18 of those years was spent in a notorious prison on Robben Island. Here's what he says about peace. Peace is the greatest weapon for development that any people can have. When you consider all that's going on in the world these days, a pandemic that is beyond our control, and all the disruption that goes along with the pandemic, consider how your peace influences others. And your peace brings clarity, and we need clarity more and more these days. So you're exploring an important theme this week. And in each episode this week, you're going to explore different aspects of peace. One path to peace is one of the hardest things there is to do, and that is to forgive. In today's meditation, you are going to be guided in forgiveness and I want to share with you a little more about Nelson Mandela after being imprisoned for nearly three decades he was released and eventually he was elected as the first black South African to become president he did something that very few people in his position would have been able to do. He invited those who had imprisoned him and had even recommended that he be put to death to his inauguration as president of South Africa. When people asked him how he could do this, he smiled and said, If I didn't, I'd still be in prison. So as you consider forgiveness in your life, not forgiving others may be the biggest hindrance to forgiveness. In fact, not forgiving others could set you back day after day after day. It could likely be something you think about often, a feeling you feel bitter about on a regular basis. Forgiving others is one of the most powerful things you could do. So I invite you now to settle yourself down and get ready to release harboring judgment against someone and to embrace forgiveness. If you're not subscribed to the podcast, make sure you subscribe. And also, 
If you'd like to share your journey with me, how meditation has benefited you, please send me a direct message to my Sip and Ohm Instagram. I'd love to hear about and share your journey. As you begin to calm your mind and your body, become aware of negative thoughts you may have repetitively that involve not forgiving someone or even some situation. It may be something that springs to your mind immediately, or it may be something that you've hidden, but it's there. Bring to mind this emotion of not forgiving. Notice where you hold unforgiveness within you. Now consider how harboring a grudge keeps you prisoner. And as you begin to feel more peace within yourself, you begin to feel more peace with the world around you, including any person or situation you feel may have harmed you. As you're seated with your spine straight, your eyes closed and gently uplifted. Your body is relaxed. Out loud repeat, I seek to understand. I seek to understand. Notice how that feels within you as you repeat it. Now, in a whisper, repeat, I seek to understand. I seek to understand. Notice how you feel as you repeat the affirmation. You may continue repeating the affirmation quietly to yourself or silently to yourself. I seek to understand as you reflect on forgiveness in your life. You are so worth slowing down for. 